Well, hello everybody. It's me, Grim, and I know it's been a little while, but I have a new video to make, and I'm gonna get that out there now. I was not gonna actually make this at first, but I feel strongly that I needed to, and this story needs to get out there. I know all of you already know about the attack in New Zealand that happened on um, Friday. Now, the thing I wanna talk about is what this sick bastard had written on his rifle. He used Ebba Uckerland's name. She was an 11-year-old that was killed in a terror attack in Stockholm. This attack was carried out by an asylum seeker in Stockholm. He was refused asylum, so he stole a beer truck and drove it through a crowd of people, killing five and injuring 14. Ebba was amongst the five that unfortunately did not make it. The shooter name-dropped her many times in his manifesto, which was 74 pages long, saying that he vowed to take revenge for her death. Her father, Stefan Ackerlund, told the Swedish newspaper Aftenbladet that he was mortified when he saw how the latest terrorist had used his daughter's name. This is his quote. I broke into a cold sweat as soon as I saw that he had rifles with my daughter's name on it. How in the hell can we ever get to mourn in peace? Think about this, people. His kid is being used for other people's justification to be able to do this shit. That's not right. It's not right at all. How would you feel if your kid was killed in an unjustly way and people constantly kept using your kid's name to justify something that they were doing that is very wrong and it keeps bringing back the pain about what happened to your kid. Think about that. Ebba's name is often used in sites like 4chan and 8chan, used by political and white supremacist groups. They like to throw her name around for justification as well. Her mother even spoke out about this. And this is what she says. It gives you chills, is what she told the Offenblatt. It is deeply tragic that Ebba's name is abused in political propaganda. I really don't have much more to say. I just wanted to get this out there. But this shit needs to stop. Because one killing equals to another killing. It's a fucking vicious cycle. You piss these people off, they piss these people off, and it just keeps happening. It's fucking dumb. So please, just stop and don't be using other people's kids or victims of tragic cr fucking attacks and stuff in your propaganda because it's wrong and it hurts these people over and over again. But with that being said, I'm going to put up some images to pay some respects to this girl that lost her life in a very, very tragic situation and I hope you stay till the end show her some respect and I love you guys I will see you again soon and that's it I'm gonna go ahead and show these clips